Hello my earth sign babies. This is going to be your reading for the week and I believe this is March 10th. Yeah. I want to say it's the week of March 10th so we're just going to go with that. Um, the timestamps are down below for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Be sure to listen to your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus in case you want to know the full story of what's going on with you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, timestamps are down below and I will see you in a moment. Hello, my Virgo babies. Let's go ahead and get started to know what is going on with you for this week. So what is going on with my Virgo babies for this week? What is going on with my Virgo babies for this week, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? So we do have the Four of Cups coming out in reverse. I'm going to take all of these. We have the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Four of Swords, and the High Priestess. Bottom, bottom deck energy we have going on is the world. So already off top, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or not, <laughs> you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, um, even though I'm not seeing it in the cards. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, but you don't have to be. And let's see, Pisces energy, I see some Earth energy here. So with the Four of Cups, coming out in reverse. You could be dropping some stubbornness. You could be really opening up to seeing certain things. Um, you may have been sitting there for a while not realizing what gifts are coming into you because you may be too hyper-focused on one area. So I feel like you could possibly be noticing this um, and opening up to new ideas new offers. Um, I just don't heard there's more than one way to do something. So if there is something that you're emotionally tied to, you may have been looking at it and you may have been like, this is the only way I can handle this. But now you're opening up to there are different ways that you can emotionally connect. Okay. So we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is about making those plans to do that. Um, it's like a spark of an idea. It is a, I might really like this, you know, like kind of seeing what could be there already to make you happy. It's not even about you going and shopping around. It's not about you going and finding anything new. It's about how you can change your perspective when it comes to some kind of emotional tie. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is finding a foundation in this newfound emotional connection. Um, something that strengthens you. Something that can build from the bottom up. It could be a brand new beginning for some. Or it could be strengthening what you already have for others. But either way, it's still a new beginning, right? It's something that you're not already used to. And it's something that's going to be very prosperous, very abundant, and it's going to build on its own. So we do have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man, followed by the Four of Swords. I feel like this is you taking a pause. You could be resting, really thinking about what you want to do. Usually the hanged man is somebody who is like, okay, I, I want to do this. I'm just not moving yet. I almost am reading this like the best thing for you to do is nothing. 
um, let things fall, let things go where they need to go, take the stress out for yourself. With the Four of Swords being here, it's a sense of you surrendering to something. It's like it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. I don't want to do anything about it. I don't want to put the energy into it. I'm just going to rest and I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to let it figure itself out. Um, with the High Priestess, I feel like that you could be truly listening to your intuition when it comes to a certain situation. And with that being said, we have the world card on the bottom deck energy. So the world is a sense of completion. This is where your new beginning is going to start. You could be changing your mindset on something and it's sparking everything else um, to come to you. Right now, I feel like it's about what you're attracting versus what you are chasing after. And you just stop chasing after. It's like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to... Um, direct anybody. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit back and see what happens. Um, I do feel like that this could be a time for you to just rest, listen to yourself, especially with the high priestess being here. Listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, do what you need to do for yourself. If you need more rest, rest. You need more exercise, exercise. You need something to eat, eat. You need to stop eating, then stop eating. You know, it's just, it, it's really important for you to just kind of take a rest, kind of cut off, isolate from everybody else and everything else, and just get yourself together. And this is actually a victory for you because you're going to be able to step back and see certain things as they fall together on their own. So that is what I have for you, my lovely Virgo babies. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, my Taurus babies. Let's get started and see what's going on with you for this week. All right, Spirit, what is going on with my Taurus babies this week? What is going on with my Taurus babies for this week? What is going on with my Taurus babies for this week? Alrighty, we got some fire energy, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo. Aries don't have to be. I also got some water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancers. Already though, we have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So with the Three of Wands, you could be really sitting back and waiting to see what your next move is going to be. You know that you need to make a move, but you're not really sure what you want to do just yet. And I also feel almost like a little stubborn energy that you really don't want to be told what to do. You don't want to be nagged too much. The reason why I'm saying this is because pulling this last card has been horrible. So we have the five of wands and we also have the seven of wands bottom deck energy. You could be feeling a little bit in a defensive state. You're kind of sitting back and the reason why I said you may not want to know anything. You may not want to be told that much. You kind of want to figure something out on your own. It's like with the eight of wands being here, you can have somebody fast coming communication, people talking at you or you feel like somebody's talking at you. You could be feeling with the three of wands. I'm trying to wait and see what comes to me. Um, 
you could have a lot of movement going on around you, but you don't necessarily want to move just yet. Um, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is really looking at spilled milk versus looking at the full cups. So there could be a situation where you're like, you know what, if I hadn't done this, then I would be here right now. Or if I hadn't made this move, then I could have progressed into something better. Um, you could be regretting certain moves that you have made. And with the Six of Cups, though, there is a sense of moving on to forgiveness, um, reconciliation. There's a sense of, you know, uh, there could be a sense of you blaming somebody for something. You know, I wish I hadn't made this move. I wish I hadn't done this. I wish I hadn't done that. And if I hadn't done that, then I would be further along than what I am. There could, there's something about like you feeling as if you are doing the best that you can and waiting for what you can. You're doing what you can right now, energetically, physically. You could be a bit stubborn right now. You could be a little bit of blame shaming. Um, you could be doing a little bit of uh, playing the victim, but it's still the point that you're trying to move out of this energy. Okay, so we do have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold. You're not feeling heard. You don't feel like your feelings have been heard. Even though you may be in like a victim mentality, we go into, as humans, we go into the victim mentality when we are not feeling heard. So the more that we have to say something and the more that we have to try to get somebody to understand something, the more that we kind of look at it and we're like, you know what, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is for the birds. Like I'm gonna, I'm really pissed off about this. And let's say you were pissed off at something at a two, right? From scale from one to 10, you're pissed off at a two. But when somebody blows it off and they act like you don't have feelings or they act like that you can't um, you know, like you should just get over it and just move on from it, the more it's going to piss us off even more. And it's going to turn that two into like a, a 50,000, you know, it's like, you shouldn't be upset about this. You're not, that's not anything we can change. So let's go forward. Even though you want to go forward, you still want to have time to feel what you feel and to process what you feel. So with the with the five of pentacles here, there's a sense of you not feeling hurt or you feel like that you're left out in the cold or somebody is just not taking you too seriously. So we have the five of wands. So that's where this could turn into conflicts. This can be conflicts and this could lead to you shutting down. Um, with the seven of wands, the seven of wands is somebody who is going to fight for what they work for. They are going to fight for... You know, hey, I feel what I feel. I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to fight for me. And if you don't like it, that's tough shit, you know. So there is an energy or a feeling here that you could have some kind of arguments. Somebody coming against you, you know, they, they kind of want you to move on from something. And you're not ready to move on from it yet because you still have feelings. So, you know, I want to say that... The more that you get in touch with your feelings, the more that you realize what you need to realize. And whoever it is that's around you, the more that they allow you to do that, the better and more healing it will be for you. So that is what I have for you, my lovely Taurus babies. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, my Capricorn babies. Let's get started for you for this week. All right, Spirit, what is going on with my Capricorn babies for this week? What is going on with my Capricorn babies for this week? Spirit, what is Capricorn need to know?
you are definitely coming out in your own reading with the Queen of Pentacles. And don't get caught up in gender. Okay. Bottom deck energy we have here is the Magician. You are doing some manifestation. You are wishing for something better. We have the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the World. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Magician. So there is something going on here that you are manifesting something to yourself that you are not actually seeing is coming to you. Um, with the Eight of Swords being here, it tells me that you have some kind of restricted way of thinking. You could be like, you know what, I do want this, but I don't really deserve it. I want to win this, but I'm not going to do it. You know, like, it's not going to be gifted to me. So there, there's a little bit of um, conflict going on with, I want this, but I don't believe it's going to happen. So there's some kind of... Uh, programmed way of thinking that you're trying to break free from. Um, you could be restricting yourself when you're doing this. So even though you could be manifesting a million dollars for yourself, um, it's not going to happen if you don't believe it's going to happen. It's like, yeah, I want that million dollars. I want that five million dollars, but that will never happen to me. You know, like that it's that kind of feeling or that kind of vibe that you have going on here. So with the two of pentacles, I feel like that you could be going head to head with somebody trying to balance something out. You are trying to talk to them, trying to get like an even ground, um, trying to get things to where it's really solid. And with the high priestess being here, I feel like you're trying to use your intuition for your prosperity and abundance. You're trying to use your intuition as to whether you can believe them or not. How solid are they? How much are they truly willing to give? How much are you willing to give? Most of all, how willing are you to climb this ladder? Ladder, You know, I want to do this, but do I want to put any more work in? Do I feel like I want to do this? We do have the world here. But right after the world, we have the Five of Cups. So even though you are getting what you manifested to yourself, you may not see that that's what's happening. You could be in the process of, of building something where you don't see the outcome yet. You're hoping for a certain outcome, but you could be in the middle of something to where I don't, I just don't know if I'm going to get it yet, you know? But with the world card, card being here, it tells me that you are working on and going to get what it is that you desire. You just have to keep working at it. And you have to stop thinking that you're not going to receive it. You have to stop feeling as if, I, oh, I, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm not that deserving. You know, there's some kind of pre-programmed type of thinking that you do that it's like, yeah, I want that, but I'm not going to get it. So stop doing that. You have to stop doing that because you're stopping your own manifestation. You have to believe in what you're you're going for. Not only do you have to put work into it, of course, but you have to stop believing that you're not going to get the desired outcome that you want. You're going to get the desired outcome that you want. So believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it and know that you can do it. And with the Five of Cups being here, you know, it, it's that sense of... I might have messed up along the way. You know, like the Five of Cups is about crying over spilled milk and not looking at the other cups that are still full. So you may have made mistakes along the way or somebody else may have made mistakes along the way. So you may feel as if, if I'm not doing this perfect, then I'm not going to receive what I want. And that's bullshit. You have to put the work in, realize what mistakes you've made, Find the courage to correct said mistakes and then keep going for what it is that you're manifesting to yourself. So that is what I have for you, my Capricorn babies. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.